says enough is enough. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us live. Lenny, Sheriff Gualteri outlined a new change to the PCSO pursuit policy. So what does this mean for residents and especially for people who flee? Good evening, Josh. Well, the sheriff making his message very clear tonight. If you run from the law, you will lose your car and then it will be sold. If you don't want to lose your car, don't run from the cops. A pledge to make Pinellas County roads safer. Sheriff Bob Galtieri announcing a new initiative to stop drivers from recklessly fleeing law enforcement. Harbor 2, they're fleeing, going southbound. All these people are doing this intentionally. They're doing it deliberately. They know what they're doing. They make a decision to run. Well, we're going to make a decision that you're losing your car. The sheriff showing the dangers, including this scene from three weeks ago in Largo, when a 41 year old man was charged after fleeing from police, crashing into an ambulance, flipping it onto its side. The medic and 70 year old patient inside the ambulance were injured. This is no accident. This isn't I made a mistake. This isn't this is I'm getting the heck out of here because I don't want a consequence for my action in the crime I'm committing, whether I got dope, whether I got a stolen car, whether I got a suspended driver's license, whatever it is, I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm just going to run and do this nonsense. The sheriff says an average of one person a day is killed due to reckless driving caused by police pursuits, but critics say this program won't solve the problem. Bryant Camarino is an attorney based in Tampa Bay. Is there a concern that this is government overreach? It is government overreach and it's going to take an act of Congress or Supreme Court decision to say uh, this has got to stop. Now, the sheriff went on to say that if the driver who is fleeing police is in a car that is borrowed or stolen, the owner of that vehicle will receive a written notice. And if it happens again, that car will be seized and sold. As for the proceeds, we're told it will go to charity programs for kids. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side. Okay, Lenny, thank you. Well, the man accused of ambushing and killing.